Right, hello. It's been a little while since I uploaded a video to the channel. But over the weekend I was playing around with some code. I wrote a um, Game Boy assembler and emulator slash debugger in C. It's a non-graphical emulator. Um, it's so that I can I can do some tests on some code and determine that if you know a subroutine that I write is producing what I expect. So I'm making a game with a friend, uh, nothing big, and I ain't gonna release it. Um, and I ain't gonna release. I'm not going to release it. So it's uh, we have this thing where we're writing some subroutines, um, and we're having some trouble testing them because we gotta play and then test, and we hit the debugger, and then we gotta look at the registers, look at the memory. We gotta scroll around. It's a little convoluted. So I decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna write a emulator and a uh, assembler for that emulator so that I can test our subroutines quicker. So I'm gonna write some code here and then I'll, uh, I'll talk about how this works. Okay, so what we have here is a 16-bit subtraction. We're subtracting the register pairs BC from HL and storing that into HL for this subroutine. And what we want to do is assert some value. So let's say that we have the number 4 instead of HL and we have the number 3 instead of BC. So if we do 3 uh, subtracted from 4, we're going to wind up with 1. So we're asserting that HL is equal to this value. And when we run this, we'll see HL 1 is equal to 1. The dollar sign means hexadecimal, and this one here without the dollar sign is decimal, just for easy reading. So if we had like an F in here, we, you know, we, it's, e it's easier to read something like 1CF as 463 sometimes. So that's basically what that's for. And we, so we can assert values. You see what happens when it's a failure. It actually puts a little red X and then tells you that there's a problem. Um, and you can print things. So let's say that we wanted to print out uh, print H and we can print HL and we can print BC. So we can print out three different things there. You'll see H is 0, HL is 1, BC is 3. So you can print out individual registers or register pairs. You can also print out how many clocks have passed. So print clocks will tell you 26 clocks have passed. But, and that's that's because we called subword, and it's including all of the clocks that were called inside of subword. So if you wanted to do something like uh, figure out how long subword took, I guess you could say print clocks before subword, which is 6, and then after subword is 26, so it took 20 clock cycles to run the subword function. And that's a great way for you to test out, you know, how long it's taking and if you want to make it faster or you have two functions and you want to see which one's faster you can use the clocks to kind of determine that okay so we're just going to delete all these prints here and you can assert other things you can assert like assert eq h to b for example we want to make sure that h and b are the same and they're going to be in this case so you can create mistakes uh like if i just put some random stuff in here it's going to tell you that there are syntax errors. Uh, it doesn't know what DAFD is on line 4. Um, so it's pretty good at telling you the first error is usually the, the correct one. All of this is just cascading errors after that. So it'll tell you if you have something wrong in your assembly code. You can assert things and you can print things. That's, that's kind of the key to the whole thing. Um, you can also print values at addresses. You can also... Uh, compare value of addresses. For example, you can do equal, not equal, less than or equal, greater than or equal, uh, less than, greater than. And these guys like in EQ, um, you'll just put in the place of where EQ is. So some other uh, things you can do is the memory ones, which are pretty cool. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to write a memory test real quick. So here I'm going to load into A some value and I'm going to load A into this memory uh, inside of the emulator and I'm going to assert that the memory is equal to that value. And so you can assert 
stuff like that. You can also, so you can also load in, you know, that address into HL, and then you can get the value at the address of HL here. Same exact way. So there's a lot of ways that you can assert and since you can assert two registers against each other, you can also write inside of loops test code to constantly test the code inside of a loop to, to make sure that the values are what you expect. So this is just a fun little side project I did over the last weekend. Um, I guess the weekend before last. I This last weekend, I, I built it out as within mscriptum so that I could put it on the web page for, for uh, people to play around with. So... Yeah, this is the Game Boy Assembler Debugger Emulator, non-graphical, um, written all in C. Uh, feel free to come here, test it out, give me some ideas. If you're making Game Boy games, which I don't know how many people are doing that, um, you can use this if you want. It's uh, totally. I'm going to be updating this web page because I want my friend that I'm programming with to be able to test the code as well pretty easily without having a cinnamon executable all the time. So if you have any ideas or any suggestions, feedback, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later on. Um, yeah.